Ever pondered the significance of attitudes in aviation safety? Well, attitudes can indeed make or break a flight. Among the myriad attitudes that pilots might possess, there are five that stand out as particularly hazardous. These are anti-authority, impulsivity, invulnerability, macho, and resignation. Firstly, the anti-authority attitude. This is when a pilot disregards rules, regulations, or safety procedures. An example could be a pilot who decides to fly in poor weather conditions, even though guidelines advise against it. The danger is clear. By ignoring established safety procedures, the pilot is putting everyone on board at risk. Secondly, the impulsive attitude. This is when a pilot acts quickly without considering the possible outcomes. Imagine a pilot who chooses to take off without performing a thorough pre-flight check. The result could be catastrophic with potential mechanical issues going unnoticed until it's too late. Next, the invulnerability attitude. This is when pilots believe accidents won't happen to them. Consider a pilot who consistently flies without adequate rest, thinking they're immune to the effects of fatigue. Such overconfidence can lead to impaired judgment and reaction times, increasing the risk of an accident. The fourth hazardous attitude is the macho attitude. This is when pilots take unnecessary risks to prove themselves. A pilot might, for instance, engage in dangerous maneuvers to impress others. This bravado can lead to reckless behavior, endangering the safety of the flight. Lastly, the resignation attitude. This is when pilots lack confidence and may give up easily in challenging situations. For instance, a pilot might surrender control to a co-pilot at the first sign of trouble, rather than working through the problem. This can lead to a lack of command and control in critical situations. So how can these hazardous attitudes be overcome? For anti-authority, it's about understanding the importance of rules and regulations. They exist for a reason, and following them can be the difference between a safe flight and a disaster. For impulsivity, the key is to slow down and think things through. Pilots need to take the time to assess the situation and consider the potential outcomes before making a decision. When it comes to invulnerability, it's crucial to remember that no one is immune to accidents. Regular rest and self-care are vital, and overconfidence should always be tempered with a healthy respect for the inherent risks of flying. For the macho attitude, humility is the best antidote. It's important to remember that real courage lies in making wise, safe decisions, not in taking unnecessary risks. And finally, for the resignation attitude, it's about building confidence and resilience. Pilots need to believe in their abilities and be ready to take control in challenging situations. In summary, while these hazardous attitudes can pose a significant danger, understanding and recognizing them is the first step towards safer skies. By fostering a culture of safety, promoting adherence to procedures, and encouraging thoughtful decision-making, pilots can mitigate these attitudes and enhance aviation safety. Remember, the skies are a shared space, and everyone has a role to play in keeping them safe.